like a failure, <laughs> like a cocoon. Like imagine being a. Look at it! Wow, you I never look so. I got myself a teddy bear. What are you doing? Just giving a hand. <laughs> Welcome to Negarau Island. Welcome back everybody. Well, we last left off enjoying this beautiful day in Negarau Island, but now the sun is about to set and that's where we're going to pick up this episode. Here we go. Enjoy. Does this look like a postcard? It looks oh. like a green screen. We actually took a little bit of a nap and almost missed all yes, of it. Yes, yes. The moon's already out, but the sun's behind us. Yeah. It's so beautiful. The it colors really are so beautiful. Really and it's calmed down a lot on this side as well. So you can really see like the water just moving quietly. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's like a postcard. It is really beautiful. Okay. All right, we're gonna keep looking at this and enjoy it because, wow, you don't, you don't wanna miss this stuff. Yeah. You gonna have your Barakai vibes now? I want my own island. Yeah. I want my own. Hmm? This is so cool. This is, no, it's kind of, it's kind of cooler than Barakai because there's nobody else watching the sunset. True. That is the one like biggest flex this place has. It's our own, it's our own sunset. Look at this, look at this. It's the a free beautiful filter for my skin and face. I love it here. The room rates here are actually really good. Uh, for one night, um, you're looking at 2000 pesos and the highest they have here is I believe 4,000 pesos but that is for a whole house where you have a whole family that's two stories there's somebody in there today so we couldn't show it to you but they said uh, when they check out tomorrow look after it's clean we can go in and record it and I'll be able to show you guys what that looks like uh, so yeah 4,000 pesos big two-bedroom house right here right on the ocean beautiful sunsets Oof. Yeah, you could rent it for a whole week. Could you rent it for a year? Hey, if you have the money, you can do whatever. Exactly. <laughs> you got the money, you can do whatever you want. Oh, you are so formal tonight. Am I very dressed up for dinner? For yes, one? but isn't this sweet? They put out this here because there's a lot of wind tonight, yeah. and so we can't sit up at the front gazebo yeah. um, for dinner. And uh, we got some wine here, which is great. There's no corking fee, which is fantastic. And uh, here Beer we go. Beer as well. Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, San Miguel Light and in, in Red Horse. the wine with beer. That's the rule? No. But yeah, there's a lot of people here this weekend. It is a very busy, busy place this weekend. Yeah, tons of people. It's cool because you can come here as a group, like a large group, and just rent, like split on a place for really cheap. Yep. And then just party for the weekend on an island. There you go. So cool. And they have the karaoke, so, you know, I'm sure that'll be lit up. I and it's in a concrete house, so you won't hear it very yeah, much. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Aww. 
the really cool thing is the island is also owned by the same owners of the Bavaria restaurant. And so if you want anything brought here, you can organize with them and they can bring food from that you can find on the menu at Bavaria to the island. And so that you can have any kind of dinner you want. Because it, you can have family style. We're having family style dinner right now, which are having fantastic, delicious spaghetti. We have some ribs that are literally falling off the bone and some goulash soup here that is nice and spicy, I gotta tell you. Um, a little spicier actually than the one we've had in the restaurant. Uh, really, everything has been so delicious. Um, but yeah, if you can think of it, if you have a big enough group, they'll help you work with you so that you can have the kind of food that you're looking for. And uh, this, is, this is remarkably good though. Mm. Freshly is red. We just oh, ran into cool. a very happy group here. <laughs> They're all wearing white. Party place right here. Yes, Effie, of course, had to join. Of a good relationship with each other. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing night with new friends. We enjoyed so, so much. Totally grateful. Well, good morning. Oof. It's another windy day. I don't know if it's worse or better. It's hard to tell. I don't think I can get a drone up, though, that's for sure. But uh, it's still a beautiful day though. Wow, the tide is really out right now. All right, hopefully the wind isn't too bad here, but we, so our plan today was uh, to do some island hopping and checking out different areas. Um, but we'll see. If we can get a boat, boat out, then we will. <laughs> That's right. All right, so this building here, this is where you can do all of your own cooking. As you can see, you've got lots of room. You could cook for, I don't know, 100 people in here. The only rule is you clean as you go. And you can do your dishes and stuff. Well, the dishes are provided. Um, but you, can, you have to wash them up afterwards because this, this place will allow you to, you know, come very inexpensively and do all your own cooking, bring your own food, and good to go. If you need ice, if you need those kind of things, of course, they offer them here at their Sorry Sorry. Um, all the basics, basically. And uh, charcoal, everything. You can purchase everything that you need can also go camping here. That is something that can bring the price even down further. And it works out to 200 pesos per person uh, in order to bring your own tents and just camp here. And you can be right down near the beach. Right now, because of the wind, they put the, the one person that is tenting here, put it right behind the wall uh, so they could get protected from that crazy wind right now. Pretty smart, but they're also right by the pool and they have a nice little seating area. And so for the people that are camping, they do have CRs out here and another uh, shower stalls. Um, so you, you have everything you need. This is really, really a nice place. Very eco-friendly, um, very relaxed and chill. Yeah, you're not going to find uh, high speed internet all over the place. You're not going to find um, all the luxuries of like a five star because this place is about being close to nature and enjoying things in a much more casual manner which we kind of really like because there's not a lot of like that kind of thing in a lot of the newer places, right? A lot of newer places, yeah, they're just about the luxuries and that kind of thing. And this way you can get back to nature. We can have a nice breakfast spread here. A lot of cooking I didn't have to do any of it so I'm very happy and uh, but yeah what a stunning place to have this beautiful breakfast um, uh, we have right now we're behind the building normally you could do it at the front um, in that gazebo that's where they normally would let us uh, sit down and eat 
uh, but because the winds are so strong today, uh, we have to be on the other side of the building. But we're not complaining. This is absolutely stunning. Way too much food. Welcome to the Philippines where they offer you way too much food. Um, and uh, not too bad, not too bad in price. So if you are looking, I'm gonna show you a menu here just so you guys can get an idea. Um, not everything is on here. You have to ask for some things and uh, usually ahead of time so they can get the supplies. Um, but yeah, here you go. So there's the food of the day. So breakfast, uh, uh, silog is 150 pesos. Um, the fish, this is for uh, dinner or well, any time actually, I should say. Uh, so 350 and 600 based on the other one. Crab, now we had a special crab yesterday, but uh, that's because they knew it. They said foreigners don't like to pull crab out very often. They're very correct. And so they kind of prepare it differently if they know that. So anyway, so steamed crab, you got 300, 600. So um, a smaller portion, larger portion. And uh, yeah, there's different flavors you can get. So if I got shrimp, uh, vegetables, chicken. So you got adobo and fried pork adobo. Um, then coffee, hot chocolate, milk, tea, whatever. So this is for people that don't bring your own supplies. It is possible uh, to get it. And this is the stuff that is available. If you want something special, like I said, you just book it ahead of time when you're booking your place. Tell them what you're looking for and they'll accommodate you and work out a price for you. All right, time to eat. Wow, guess what? Uh, you ever seen a sea turtle? Well, a sea turtle that went the wrong way. He was out on the grass here, going the wrong way from the sea. Yeah. And uh, Bianca is our uh, resident turtle, turtle wrangler. wrangler. Okay, so look at this guy. We're gonna go and uh, put him back in the ocean and where he belongs. Yeah. We just soaked him with some water. We're like, oh no, you're getting dry. And uh, anyway, yes. what's his name? Willie. 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 So we're gonna free Willy, literally. Free Willy. You guys ever seen that? It's a free Willy! Let's go, he's already. All right, all right, we don't want him to dry out. Let's go, let's go. Let's go find him a beautiful habitat. Where do we do it? You should go swimming with him. I don't know. I can't, I can't. You're walking ahead of me. Sorry. There we go. Yeah. Oh, she, I don't know. I don't know. It's a willy, okay? Willy. Yeah. I don't know how. Did you check his willy? I don't want to do that. All right. It seems just, a little. I am just saying. It seems a little, it's usually how you know. It seems a little violent. <laughs> but violent? <laughs> how? I didn't mean that way. <laughs> just a simple check. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Kind of ways do you do it? All right. Wow. There's no wind over here. Oh, he's, oh, like, oh, he's oh, flapping. Oh, he's fighting. Okay. He's I like, know. no, that's my Shall sea. We have him, like, Go right walk? into the water. No, no, no. He's a sea turtle. He doesn't have legs. Sand? Oh, sand. Okay. Sand. Never mind. They're telling us, no, no, that's not the right way. All right. Thankfully, they were uh, here to help us to say, no, no, he has to do this. Are you okay? Oh, look at that. Whoa. Look at him go. Whoa. Look at him go. Whoa. Freed Willy. Oh, Willy looks happy. It's a free Willy. Look at all that room, Willie. Watch, he's going to turn around and go back. Yeah, he's going to... No, he's not coming back. Look, he's gone. Wow. Wow. Look at you. That's so cool. You just freed Willie. I just freed Willie. I kind of want him back so I could like, pet right? him a little bit more. You're like, now. wait, I didn't have my oh, time there's, with there's Willie. There's fish, too. Yeah, you're gonna figure them too? Put them on land? Put them in your mouth? Oh, I and wonder how many more turtles are here. Yeah. There's turtle eyes. Well, we were told that uh, that the turtles do come up here, lay their eggs in the sand and everything. And so it's actually very common to find uh, sea turtles around here. So that's, that's pretty darn cool. I don't know if there's any eggs this morning or today. Um, check. Yeah, we can go check. We can go see if there's any buried out here. Well, you'll so cool. not buried. We're not going to dig them up, but if we can find any on our own. Who's the Australian? Um, Crikey? No, no, the Australian guy passed away, but he yeah. was like, oh. Crikey. Isn't that Isn't what he, he would, would say? That's, yeah, that's an Australian thing to say. That's no, I like, know, but that he like coined that phrase crikey, all over the world. Mate. Yeah, crikey. Oh, yeah, I come on, help me out. Oh, Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. 
And now his son is uh, also, doing the same yeah, thing. Yeah, and he's a really good photographer. Yeah, so. as long as he stays away from stingrays, we're good. Too soon, man. Too soon. No, it's not. It's been 10 years or more. Anyway, all right. Let's go see if we can find some turtle eggs. What the heck? Is this... Am I Steve Irwin for real now? There might be more in there. There might be more in there. Yeah, should we bring him to the water now? Let's go to the calm water. So, I actually am Steve Irwin. Did you guys see that? I just helped dig out a little turtle. Little, what are, what are baby turtles called? Turtlets? Turtlets, yes. Let's Let's call turtlets. <laughs> I got a turtlet out of the, the sand. And in that hole, you could see a couple more eggs. So, like, clearly there's gonna be a couple extra siblings. But for now, that was one of the first. Or the one that was stuck, I guess, in the dirt. But, like, only 3% of turtles survive. Something, like, really low. Because look how small they are. And they have to fight against the current, fishermen, everything. Yeah, birds. So, birds, yeah. Dogs. Dogs. Me. I'm just kidding. They, wow. don't, they don't have to fight against me. No. I'll be the time. But, yeah. It's crazy. And they, they have a couple uh, no, more No, what's holes. crazy is you just released the free willy. Uh, yeah. And then we found... And then you freed a, a willy. A small free willy the second, junior. Little, little Mini, willy. Snack size. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, I lucked out. Uh, I asked if, hey, is there any way I can show the really big house, the two-story for up to 15 people, um, which is 5,000 pesos. So you bring 15 people, the price gets real low, right? And uh, somebody was there, but they said when they check out, no problem. Well, you're, you can go and show it. So they just checked out. We're going to go take a look uh, before we head off the island. A living room thing in here you can move your tables that you have out there in here that kind of thing um, they got a little bit of furnishings already in here so you have one bedroom here you have another let's see what's in here oh I see it oh here's the CR oh yeah there's no lights in the day because uh, the generator goes on at night and the solar's on the main building but big shower you have everything you need here all right, and another bedroom here. You notice they all have fans, which is great. And up we go to the second floor. Oh, this is cool. It's like an attic set of thing. Oh, wow, look at that. Now that is a big family bed. Wow. And you even have another mattress there. So technically you could throw another one down. Look at that. Woo. Wow, imagine that, eh? Family that stays together, or sleeps together, stays together, something like that. Anyway, and then this amazing balcony. Now the wind's gonna be strong, so I won't talk to it, but check this balcony out. You have a hammock, and chairs, more hammocks over there. You got swings over here, the tables, everything. It's just beautiful. Look at that, unobstructed beach view. How cool is that? Unobstructed beach view like that. Yeah, windows at the back here that also have screens. Um, do they have screens? So you check that before I say it. No. And all the windows here like pivot, so you can actually let tons of airflow in, and they just have pivots in the center, so it just tilts this way, right out the room. It's actually very cool in here right now, I gotta tell you. It is a very windy day. Well, this was really cool. This is a huge space, so you could have a large group here, and it, total price, 5,000 pesos, plus the boat, by the way. So if you have 15 people, obviously you're gonna need two boats. 
Um, the Coast Guard is maximum 10 people uh, on each boat. So yeah, if you have over 10 people, they have to do a separate boat for that. And you'll have two charges of 600 pesos. Yeah, it's really cool. I like it. I like the front balcony too. Got so many areas to sit. And uh, you know, they can arrange other things. If you need bigger tables, that kind of thing. Another communal kitchen. Lots of places to cook here. Yeah. As well, I wasn't able to show the balcony up here. So this building also can be rented for 5,000 pesos. And if you do rent it out, they will just like allow you to use everything, the bar, and the big tables and everything else for this space. Otherwise, you can rent just the upstairs, just the downstairs. But yeah, groups do often ask, can we just book this whole thing out? And yeah, this is like a German um, common house or whatever they called it, where they all, a tavern, like a tavern. And it looks just like a tavern. But upstairs here, we weren't able to show you uh, the beds up here and the cool balcony. So uh, here, they've got one, two, three beds there, four beds there and uh, a couch technically you could sleep on i guess and then look at this balcony this is my favorite i, I really like this tavern type feel coming right down here get your mead <laughs> beer whatever get your alcohol and then have like your whole Oktoberfest thing going on over here also if uh, somebody books out the karaoke it won't be here it'll be at uh, in the common area where you can do all the cooking they would put that out there um, but if nobody books it it'll be here and if you end up booking the whole place well then you'll get it for yourself uh, the other bedrooms they're open now so I can actually show you downstairs here too Got many steps. Um, so Bermuda room here has uh, three, four beds. Don't mind they're not made yet because the guest just left. And uh, a CR here. Pretty straightforward, yeah. I like it. I love the stone and everything though. All right, it's a bit of a mess right now because uh, we're, we're checking out soon. But we wanted to uh, share with you the cost. So for our room, you can have up to five people. So that, the price is the same all the way up to five people. It's 600 for the boat and then 2,000 uh, for the night. Um, and that's it. You shouldn't have to pay for anything else, especially if you bring your own food. Don't bring your own food while well, we show that. Um, and, uh, <laughs> and if you uh, have uh, two people, um, there is a possibility if you say, listen, can we get a little bit better price? Um, they'll work with you on that. Another thing is if you want to stay a second night, it's 500 peso discount for the second night. So 2000 for the first night, 1500 after that, and uh, so on and so forth. You can stay longer if you'd like. Uh, so very reasonable. You're on a private island. You know, you're, you're a lot more privacy here than other places. And yeah, exactly. And look at the view. Like seriously. Yeah. Good value. Oh my god, yeah. So it's really great value for sure. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad on this. I'm uh, trying my best, but there's great breeze coming through the whole place. And uh, they have screened on both sides and in here. Plus all the bathroom ones are screened. So if you open that door, the wind just goes right through this whole place. And so you can lay here at night. And uh, if you don't run the fan, then you'll have no noise interruption. And you can hear the ocean breeze, or sorry, the ocean waves. You can hear the ocean waves crashing all night while you sleep. Magical. You're a mother. mother. Yes, I'm a mother. What, what are you doing? Jingling my jangles. Wow. Somebody was out on the beach uh, seashell hunting, and uh, there's a billion, a billion of yeah, them. Yeah, it's unbelievable. crazy. It's like. Yeah. 
just exactly and i and like a uh, public beach where they're like don't pick them up or whatever well here the sun just bakes them until they yeah. literally turn into dust and disappear yeah. so yeah. yeah no no harm no how foul here at all that's for sure yeah what a beautiful place well we're gonna be checking out we gotta pack up and everything well, we're and back, yeah man. we're coming back because we couldn't do uh the island tours the island hopping tours which by the way is 1500 pesos to do the island hopping yeah and uh yeah, but the waves and the wind today unfortunately don't lend uh, uh, well for that kind of thing and it would be very difficult to get us to fight these and get yeah. to all the islands yeah. come back. Plus once we're there we really wanted to fly the drone so we said hey let's postpone that we're gonna come yeah. back another time. So we can get some sexy drone shots okay there. Mm. <laughs> That's the reason. Um, yeah and it for us to reach all the way to um, the island here from our house was in one hour. That includes taking the boat over and everything. And yeah. then from there, what was it, about 15, 20 minute drive? And then the boat over here. So it's actually pretty quick for us to come over here. So if you live in Iloilo, Ilo, you know, it isn't that definitely far to come. Definitely worth it. Yeah, definitely it's worth nice, it. Like, um, home away from home. And, and we were asking, or at least I was asking, if you had your own boat and you just go from Iloilo, Ilo, could you, how long would it take you to the island? He's like, uh, a small boat, eight hours, and a big boat, four hours. So, not a good option. You You're better off to drive right through now. the island. Yeah, it's better to go through, which is surprising. But there really isn't any traffic. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Well, we had a wonderful time, and uh, thanks to all the staff and everything here for Thank being so everybody. great. They've been wonderful. Thank you for watching. We appreciate and you guys. as well. And thanks to the members. Thank you so much. All right, guys. See you in the next video. See you. Bye bye. This? This is very romantic. Are you on a date? Now we're gonna head out to the part of town that looks like Mega World, well, inspired Mega World, um, but I was gonna say, but is original. Uh, I believe it's Cali Real or Real. I'm not too sure how it's pronounced of the two. It's spelt like English Real. So we're gonna go and check this place out. And I hear it's really beautiful. Uh, hopefully we'll find some dinner and then get back here in time to do our live broadcast. It's really nice. The glass right in there. <laughs>